How's it going out there, folks? Welcome back here to a uh, Tuesday night. Earthmaster here. Just jumping in with a real quick update here. Uh, about 9.09 p.m. California time. I uh, had some issues with my audio on the previous update, so we're having to do this just real quick. I appreciate it there, Timothy, letting me know about it. But uh, unfortunately, I kind of ignored my phone here. I need to, need to, I guess, pay a little bit more attention when uh, someone's trying to email me, right? So Southern California seeing quite a bit of earthquake activity here today. A lot of microquake movement. Really nothing big, but we are noticing an increase in uh, some microquake activity all around the San Andreas Fault. Also some swarming going on inland, well away from the plate boundary over here across Arizona of all places. Some twos, even a 3.4 being recorded in the mix there. Uh, Bay Area pretty quiet. Some movement north there around the Clear Lake Volcanic Field, but that's about it for Northern California. Nothing major going on there across Seattle area for now. Uh, there is a handful of trimmer events out there. 171 epicenters of trimmer around the Vancouver Island range. Also into Southern Oregon there. So uh, some movement stirring up out there into the deeper areas of the Cascadia subduction zone. Uh, minimal movement across Yellowstone, although a noticeable increase across Idaho and even up into Montana where we got uh, little swarm of activity here off of this region near a flathead lake area uh, nothing major going on there for now though across the rest of the country as you can see oil fields and a little bit of movement out in the arkansas area far as uh, any major uptick here across the globe largest at, or at least across the map here largest activity going to be a 5.4 down into the Chile region that's not a big earthquake they're very common down there New Zealand getting a handful of earthquakes here across the area where that 6.7 struck here recently. But uh, some noticeable uptick here across North Island, underneath North Island here, associated with the Hikarangi subduction zone. A super deep 4.1, 171 miles deep there into that subduction zone. So keep an eye on that as we got, uh, you know, some big time potential there for some larger activity. Movement across Alaska kicking up here as well. Um, Definitely a noticeable increase as listed on the map. Japan, pretty quiet. Got one lonesome earthquake here. Uh, and far as any sufficient movement across the Indonesia Islands area, that's typical movement there across the crunch zone. Really not looking at anything uh, major going on, but uh, a typical activity there. Stirring up. Uh, a little swarm out around the Azars area with some twos and threes, even a 4.6. Uh, Hawaii right now looking at uh, a little bit of migration going on. Well, not migration, but inflation going on across the summit area of Kilauea Volcano. Got uh, one of the vents out here in a little bit of eruption stage earlier. It's still spewing out a little bit of lava there out of one of the vents. Although we're still looking uh, and probably expecting a much more sufficient eruption coming real soon if not tonight probably within the next 24 hours here as inflation rates are quite high uh, across the area of Kilauea volcano uh, nothing major going on here for the uh, storm prediction center or uh, excuse me solarham.com site major corona hole that's facing the earth right now number 25 and 26 but uh, uh, we, we could get a little chance here of some aurora activity in the coming nights i got a G2 class storm, G1 class storm here over the next couple nights forecasted. But it doesn't mean it's going to happen. Just got a possibility there of seeing the auroras here uh, in the coming nights. And that's due to the high-speed solar wind stream. Nothing major going on there for the uh, flares. Pretty quiet across the board. In fact, if you look at the uh, solar flare or the sunspot chart here, we're pretty much absent of all the sunspots on the Earth-facing side. Not a whole lot to look at here. The uh, magnetogram image, roughly about the same as well. Not seeing anything uh, changing there. All sunspots are degrading and decaying. Storm Prediction Center got a severe weather risk out here for, uh, oh, uh, I was going to say Oklahoma, Oregon. I'm used to saying Oklahoma out here in Texas, right? Well, we got a severe weather event for the Pacific Northwest with a rare large hail threat. We're talking about hail up to 2 to 2.5 inches in diameter. That's baseball size hail. That is very rare to see up there across Oregon and Washington. Doesn't matter what time of the year. That just doesn't happen. But there is that potential there 
for tomorrow and even a tornado threat out there with a 2% chance. I think the main threat is going to be the large damaging hail. So watch for that as we uh, watch those storms pop up there tomorrow. That's all due to a, a massive low pressure system spinning off the Pacific there. That's going to bring in a lot of moisture there to the Pacific Northwest, a little bit to Northern California. It's not until uh, towards the end of this weekend before uh, then we'll see a little bit more stronger storm system down there across Northern California, bringing in sufficient rainfall, which is uh, a good thing, keeping everything nice and green out here. Uh, aside from that, folks, um, not a whole lot else going on. Uh, this is my second update video. I don't know what happened here. But I lost my audio, but I appreciate uh, Timothy there letting me know that uh, I lost it. I just got to pay attention to it, I guess. I had a little little glitch there when I started, and then the audio was working for a little bit, and then I guess I lost it towards about seven minutes till the end of the video uh, on my last update here. But it looks like it's working now, so I appreciate it there, folks. Apologize for the audio issue I, I don't know what happened I, no clue anyway folks keep an eye there on southern california with the elevated activity again it's nothing big nothing above 2.5 out here it's all small microquake activity but it is a noticeable increase across the southern california region um you know a lot of pressurization going on off of the plate boundary well inland Nothing major going on there across the Seattle area. Even though trimmer activity is elevated out here, we're not seeing any type of, uh, uh, you know, resulting uh, pressurization out here from the uh, trimmer that occurs down underneath this area. But we'll continue to watch it. All right, folks, I'm out of here. Have yourself a good evening. Audio looks good right now. I don't know why it did that. Just It's kind of strange. Maybe a ghost in the machine. Seismographs all calm and clear. Have a good night. I'm out of here. I still need a little bit of sleep. I haven't recovered from my road trip yet. Have a good one. We'll see you guys out here in the morning. Oh, let's see here. Oh, now now my uh, shortcut key is not working. Let's try that. 